That shocking audio tape of the governor's former mistress started the criminal investigation against Grace. Now, the former mistress did not release the tape. It was her ex-husband. 41 Action News anchor Cynthia Newsom joins us now. With the mistress was upset that her ex-husband released all of this. Yeah, she did not want this to go public. In fact, through her attorney, after the tape was released, she said she wanted to protect her children and keep the affair and the tape private. But her now ex-husband, who recorded the conversation, was within his legal rights right to share the recording and when he shared it his former wife's powerful words painted a vivid and disturbing picture of what she claimed the governor did to her and he stepped back and saw a flash through the blindfold and he said you're never going to mention my name otherwise this picture will be everywhere Within the hour, we received a statement from Al Watkins. He is the lawyer representing the ex-husband of Governor Greitens' mistress. Al told CNN, Lady Justice can sometimes operate in cumbersome ways, but right now we have an individual charged with a felony, and in our great land, one must presume innocence until guilt has been proven beyond a reasonable doubt. Now tonight, Governor Greitens' wife is supposed to speak at Washington University in St. Louis. We are watching to see if she will, in fact, attend the event and if she says anything about the indictment. Cynthia Newsom, 41 Action News. Ariel Rothfield headed to St. Louis, by the way, right now. And despite the governor being indicted, Governor Eric Greitens still remains in office. He only loses his office upon impeachment or conviction. 41 Action News spoke with Lieutenant Governor Mike Parsons' office. His office had no comment. Reactions from lawmakers are pouring in, as you might imagine. Democratic Representative Gail McCann Beatty says it will be extremely difficult for the governor to effectively do his job with a felony indictment hanging over his head. While the criminal justice systems must run its course, the governor needs to consider whether remaining in office under these circumstances is the right thing to do for not only himself and his family, but for the people of Missouri, end quote. The Democratic Governors Association has called for him to resign.